Welcome to S'more, Southern Missouri Off-Road Ranch, located just outside of Seymour, Missouri, and just 30 miles east of Springfield. This off-road park offers a ton of trails, very clean amenities, a friendly staff, and great camping space on over 900 acres of backwoods Missouri fun. There are three Jeep badges of honor located here, and we came to conquer them all. Me, Mario, and his family are in for an unforgettable time. All right, I gotta run to the bathroom. I may not make it. <laughs> if this sounds like fun to you, then stay tuned, because this is the next adventure of Jack Monkey Jeep. It's good coffee. Good morning. Hope everybody slept well. It's Saturday morning and we have an adventure for you today. It was a little bit of a different video as we're gonna pack up the, the Gladiator and the hiker trailer and we're gonna head about an hour and a half southwest of here to a place called S'more. Southern Missouri Off-Road Ranch, it's right here. This place is pretty awesome. Uh, I've been there a couple times. It's a, I don't know how many acres they have, but it's large, large plot of land, uh, good four wheeling, good trails, nothing too challenging, but there are some pretty decent hills to climb. And, uh, and there's three Jeep badges that you can earn. And so an offshoot of this video, I'll mention it here, but I will show you how to Go on the Jeep Badge of Honor, request the tra request the badge. We'll show you how to check in. We'll show you how to request the badge. And then the, the clock starts on when you actually get it. But my buddy Mario from Off Grid Adventures is going to be here. Uh, we're going to meet up with him and his family. And it's going to be a good time. So thanks for joining us today. Stay tuned. All right. So this morning's trip is going to start from my home. We're going to link up with Mario at his place. And then we're going to start the trip together, following each other out. Should take us about 90 minutes once I link up with him. So it's in Seymour, Missouri, but they do have electric campsites. They have cabins for rent. They have off-grid camping. They have a cafe. Uh, it's only open on certain at certain times on the weekends. Um, but it, full menu, uh, probably no healthy options, but you know, like burgers, fries, sandwiches, probably things like that. And in their little miniature store, decent selection of convenience items. That's where you check in, you sign your waiver. It is a little pricey, it's more. Um, the website says it's $35 a vehicle, and then that covers the driver. If you have multiple people in the vehicle, it's an extra 15 bucks. 13 and over are $15 additional in the vehicle so it is kind of expensive kids under 12 totally free but it's a pretty pretty dope place i like it a lot um and it's close we have an electric campsite reserve so we're gonna have eight total people with the campsite a max of two ground tents and two vehicles obviously i've got my hiker trailer with the 230 rooftop tent and then my buddy mario's ground tent it's gonna sleep six that's where he and his family will sleep and then we'll have two gladiator rubicons on site. I don't know where the campsite is in, in relationship to the store, but we'll find out. Uh, so it's going to be a great time. So. All right, guys. So we got the hiker trailer loaded up. We're on our way to meet Mario and his family. It's going to take me about 35 minutes to get there to link in with him. We're going to stop up here, fill up with gas, uh, pick up some last minute essentials, water, gas station sandwich and then uh, a couple cokes for some libations tonight so we're on our way we're leaving the house now uh it's 8 19 a.m we should be linking up with mario around 09 and then i think it's about an hour and 15 hour maybe an hour 30 from when we link up with him we're on our way 
I'll come back at you in a little bit and stay tuned. Something where I get behind you or in front of you and try to get film passing you, and I know okay. these are like, so we'll slow down when yeah, we do yeah. that. And I try to, I try to maintain gas mileage with the. Sign in. We get some money out of the ATM. Yeah, we'll be good to go. We have shirts. We have basic camp okay. stuff. Hats. Um, more sweatshirts. All kinds of stuff. Remember, this is the restrooms over here. So if you want to stay close, you go in here. If you want. Let's go get lost. <laughs> it's all right. That's huge. Who are you paying for? I am paying for just me. Just you. That makes yes. it simple. One yes. day or two. Uh, just one day, same as him. I had the reservation for Camp 33, but we'll take Camp 24. Okay, $10. Okay. One driver with military discount. Here it comes to a total of $156. $156. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? It's what? $156. Mm -hmm. $25 to drive for a day. Okay. Two nights in the electric campground at $40 a night. So that's Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I, can I put that in the tent camping? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I was okay, like, wait, you want to well, move from that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Camping. I yeah. see. Okay. I want to. I want to be with them. So. All right. Do you want firewood? Mm-hmm. Yeah. When, uh, it's ten dollars a bundle. Okay. Twenty-five dollars for yourself to drive mm -hmm. one day. It's been in two nights. Mm -hmm. And one night. One night. One night. How about ninety-one? Ninety-one. That's okay. Okay. And the cafe is not open? No, but we will have a food truck coming in at 10.30. Okay. It'll be set up over by the pavilion. Okay. All right, so we got everything. I've got some swag, got a sticker. We're going to get some firewood. Changed it to tent camping, so that way we could get in. Uh, could only be here for one night. It was significantly cheaper to do that that way. Otherwise, it would have been like 150 bucks. Um, but that's including the sweatshirt and the, and the sticker. So, all right, I'm gonna load up this firewood and we're gonna get out. We got the hiker trailer set up. Yep, we got the tent. We're gonna we're gonna leave the awning for later because it is a little bit it is a little bit windy out here. I don't know if you can hear, but um, so we are gonna we are gonna wait. But as you can see, this is the camp the tent camping at S'more. So I got the hiker trailer with the 23-0 rooftop tent, the 23-0 Peregrine 270 degree awning and we'll set that up later my buddy Mario and his family sleeping in the Coleman six-person tent his Jeep's there he's uh, we're getting lunch set up now my Jeep's back here the kids are taking the firewood out for later tonight and we're getting ready to go and we got some uh, side-by-sides going out yeah but we're gonna get ready to get it so stay tuned now that camp is set up, we're getting ready to eat lunch. And Mario asked me about the Jeep Badge of Honor program. So here I am explaining that to him, how to log into a the app, how to log into the trail, and then later go back in and request the badge, and then my badge placement. 
so let's listen in. And then in a couple hours, it'll let you check in the guardrail. In a couple hours, you can check into Cooper Crossing. And then that'll set the, uh, the badge in your, um, in your app. And then you got to go to your badges and request the badge to be sent to you. So, Pee Crossing was my first, and then guardrail. Uh, they didn't have Cooper Crossing when I was here the first time, so I'll get that today. And then... I'm sorry, guys. We're even using a dead cat. The wind is so bad here, uh, so it must be something with my settings. Anyway, I apologize about the audio. If you've made it this far, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. It helps the channel out. And we'll fast forward to the next part of the video. Thanks. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do uh, to get ready to go out and hit some trails is we're going to air down the tires. We're going to drop these down to about 14. It won't go much lower than that. No need, really. So... This is the ARB deflator that pulled the uh, valve stem out. Start going down. That's it. I'm gonna start the Jeep so I can see what the air pressure is. So the deflator says 12. Let's see what the Jeep says. It says 12 too, so we're good. And there we go, there you have it. So that's how you use the ARB easy deflator on your tires to get yourself to the right tire pressure. That maybe took me 12 minutes to do. I'm running 12 PSI-ish on all four tires. We're aired down, we're ready to go. Let's go hit some trails. So here's this nice little spot. You get this little cave dwelling. Howdy, everybody. Well, howdy. Behind everybody. Some water falling off of it. We got a nice little flow in the creek. And it's a gorgeous day. All right, so since we're taking a small break, we're actually gonna set up the winch and so we can see how this works. I'm gonna set up a snatch ring to a tree to create a mechanical advantage for the, for the winch. So I'm gonna use the wireless control. So the first thing we do is turn clutch on the winch to free spool so we can pull it out. That doesn't draw any power from the battery. It just requires a little bit of strength and manliness on your part to pull the winch out. So. We're gonna need a couple things. We'll need our tree saver strap that goes around the tree. Two soft shackles, or snatch ring. We'll need one soft shackle with the snatch ring up with the tree. Back here, 
on the bumper. All right, so we'll take this, the tree saver strap, wrap it around the tree. We'll take a soft shackle and set it loose. We will then take our snatch ring, put one end through and then loop the threaded end around the knot and then move that to the middle like so. So you want the knot in the middle, you want solid soft shackle through the two rings on the on the tree saver and then a solid piece here on the ring. You don't want the ring butted up against the knot. It's a potential place of failure. The knot should be somewhere in the middle. Set this down and then we'll pull more out, wrap it through. Let's go bottom to top. Now, we run the other soft shackle through the Factor 55 flat link, pull it through, and then we go through our hard shackle, wrap the loose end over the knot. All right, and again, try to route that to the middle so it's not bunched up against anything. Yeah, for what we're gonna do, that'll be all right. Then we engage our winch, and then we double check. So I'm gonna turn the winch light on. Red light is on. We got this. Check here. The, run, the winch line is properly routed through the spool. And we're good. Now we tighten it up just a little bit. I'm hitting it. You're climbing that steep rock right there. and we're hitting a tree. But that's how you set up your winch with snatch ring and soft shackles to recover yourself with a mechanical advantage. Yeah. Let me go up above that and then start. Okay. okay. So after a few failed attempts at Adventure Hill, we decided to hang it up. I don't think the rock ledge was going to allow the jack monkey to get up over it. I know Mario's Jeep, which was stock, was going to have some issues. And we also forgot to put a spotter out. As the experienced off-roader, that's on me. But nobody was hurt, nothing was damaged, and all we lost was a little bit of time. A 34 degree pitch, which is extremely hairy. This ain't happening, babe. No.
All right, guys, we're at Cougar Crossing. We're about to go down it. This is the newest Jeep badge here at S'more. We're about to go hit Cougar Crossing. This is Jeep Badge of Honor Trail number two. some reason the sway bar won't disconnect I'm having issues it's telling me i need to service my four-wheel drive but we are on cougar crossing and we're doing just fine all right guys so we just finished up with cougar crossing we're heading on ranch road all the way back to guardrail we'll do guardrail then we'll head back to camp set up camp start cooking some steaks and enjoying uh the nice evening Yay. Okay. So, yeah, awesome. Yep. I love your Jeep, man. This is awesome. What are, are these 40s? Yeah. Are, did you re-gear it? I got a 538 in there. All right, have a good one. Finally you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Have the stove out clearly not in a safe area because it's right on the ground but we have the uh we have the fire going with the cast iron right on top so and we have a request for regular hot dogs we have better cheddars we have steaks we have regular hot dogs we have a lot of great food for camping. you want all eight of these yes i mean i'll eat some oh, okay then go ahead yeah. cut this open with the knife over there it's good stuff. Okay. So, we've got the Jack Monkey here. I don't know. What's your name, Mario? You know, I think I have an idea, but yeah. it's so ridiculous. What are you calling yours? So, it's Pumpkin Orange, right? Pumpkin Orange, yeah. And uh, it's square. Yeah. So, growing up, my kids liked uh, the show called Spookly the Square Pumpkin. Squ Spookly? <laughs> So I don't know if I'm going to go with Spookly or something along those lines. I mean, Spookly's, it's different. <laughs> it's a jack-o'-lantern. It's a jack-o'-lantern. I think it matches Spookly. You could definitely, I could definitely see Spookly, you know, uh, up front. Maybe go with, uh, you know, maybe do what I did with the blue and the green accent. You go with like orange and... Orange and black and it's already ready. Or you could do orange and blue, you know. And you could call it Spookly. I think Spookly is a good name for your Jeep. I think that's cool. Firewood here is a decent price. It's 10. That was all 20 bucks. Plus we got some over here. Yeah, great day. Wonderful day. So everybody, uh, you know, if you have a chance to get out here, get out here, check it out. It's just such a cool place. A um, little pricey. That's about the only thing. But their trails are well marked. Onyx off-road. It's fantastic for doing things out here. Yeah, that's about it. So, uh, had some issues with the four wheel drive today. Not too happy about that, but you know, hey, uh, that happens. It is, it's a Jeep, it's a Mopar, it's Chrysler. Eh, not the most reliable things in the world, but a lot of fun, you know. Um, if I wanted reliable, I would have bought, bought a Toyota, so. 
As far as my four-wheel drive issue, it was a setting on my Super Chips Flash Cow Plus. I had the gearing set to 488 instead of 410, which is what comes in the stock Rubicon. This caused the transmission to throw a code, and it wouldn't allow my sway bar to disconnect properly. After setting it back to 410, I had no issues. I love S'more. If you're ever in the area, I urge you to come check it out. Wonderful people, wonderful facilities, and the trails are just fantastic. We spent an evening hanging out by the fire, enjoying food, in each other's company. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and thanks for joining us on Jack Monkey Jeep.